Hello, this is Klopla321, and this is PHP and MySQL Tutorial 12, and this is again extending a basic blog, but with a login system. And I'll be referring back to Tutorial 8, where it was the concept of a login system, where the sources are provided on my site, and also where a couple people converse with me and I answered a few questions. Um, but I'm going to be using some of the code from this, because I'm going to be implementing the login, and I'm going to essentially be doing the same thing, so there's no reason to reinvent the wheel here, when this is just the basic roots and concepts. Okay, so just to recap, I'm, in my users table, I have three things, or of all three things of importance. I have my ID, my username, and my password. My password um, I believe is a SHA-1, but it might be a MD5. I guess I'll figure that out soon. I know that it is password in lowercase. That's what I know. Uh, so I'll figure that out later on in this tutorial, and I can switch out the functions just to see. So, here is my site at clopal321.com slash php hyphen tutorials. You can go here to view my sources. And I will generally have the, uh, the post up with the video and the sources when the video is public. So, what we're going to do today is, as I said earlier, implement a uh, login concept. So I've already um, implemented and created a uh, login page here, but it's just meant for a file that's already created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base it from the uh, blog.php where I still have most of the stuff here except for this um, post section. So I'm going to copy in this first part here and then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to close off this div and I'm going to close off the body and I'm going to close off the HTML so we're safe with that. So now we need a section for our login. Well I'm going to say div class equals, uh, let's just say, login. And then, what I can do here, is I can just end it there, and this is where I can put in my form. So I'm going to save here, and it looks like something is slightly messed up here, because it thinks that I'm in HTML mode, not PHP mode, and everything's good. So I'm going to go to my tutorial um, 8 here and copy in the form. Now the form right here is uh, using the basic HTML which I desire to see. So I'm going to open up what um, it should look like in my uh, tutorial section on my website or local host really. And I'm going to check out the login page. So you see here, blog title like it was on blog.php, but it just happens to have a form right next to it. Uh, we're not going to be working for pretty ends here. We're just going to be working on uh, getting the page there uh, with minimal use of HTML and PHP. So next, we need to figure out how we're going to merge the content here for the uh, the uh, login section. So I can do what I did earlier and that is pretty much before the content is echoed out I am going to uh, just uh, detect if someone's trying to send any information because I have this hidden value called sub. Now this sub value here what it does is that it allows me to detect here in my request variable I'm a set, request is essentially get and post merge or either or whichever one it detects so um, because I have the value 1 here and I'm converting um, not converting but if I'm I'm just detecting if it is set essentially there's no reason why I would send 0 or nothing um, because I just need to see if the variable exists. So now I have uh, my username and my password in here. And 
then of course I'm escaping my uh, username so that it is SQL safe and here I have I still have the same thing with username and passwords I I hope with the uh, the field name so it's username and password both in lowercase and that matches this right here I just so happen to be using the same table name so I don't have to change much there either so now I can pretty much just say that this uh, should just work and I'm going to instead here instead of echoing because it would echo before the page content I'm going to set an error um, text I'm going to set nothing up here I'm going to say that error text equals um, this statement right here. Uh, and I'm going to put in a dot equals because if I put in um, another error later on um, in a future section, that dot equal will save me from overwriting the previous statement. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go down here under the uh, blocks on uh, the login section. I call this uh, class here error, and I'm going to echo out the, uh, from PHP the uh, error text, and end that there, and close, and don't forget to close out your divider tag. So if I go here. I refresh, obviously nothing shows up. If I put this here and I just send, I got something wrong. So I'm gonna try putting in this. I'm gonna put in pat I'm gonna put in password. And I'm gonna try logging in. It doesn't like it. Don't change. So I'm going to try uh shifting this out for uh SHA one. I'm gonna save. And I'm going to try this again. Resend. Okay. Um, that time I did not get an error even though I resent the data. So what that means is I got something right. So if I got something right, then I should redirect. Now how I'm going to redirect is I'm going to use the header tag. And header allows me to send HTTP values to the browser for pretty much commands saying go here or this is the kind of file I'm sending you etc. So I'm going to say location blog.php. Now what I'm going to do next is because I'm depending on the session variable I need to start the session. Well luckily I already have this in the first line so I can just go ahead open up my contact on my connect PHP. I can initiate the session and I can save and I should be all good so now that I have it so it should be relocating to the blog.php uh, blog.php should also have the session started there because I implemented it into the connect.php so I'm going to put in my con my information here again and I'm going to make it lowercase there but it's not liking that and Okay, that's really ticking me off, but let's just see if uh, if my login of PHP is putting it to a lowercase. No, it's not. But I can try. It apparently is okay with it. Don't change. So, I was just redirected to the blog, the blog title page, or the front page, really. So, I should be in. Well, why don't we go ahead and um, below the post um, part, see, post is right there. And it looks like we have an extra div or something. 